and when you become a patron, uh, you also get access to that specific part. In exchange for your becoming a patron, you get a free copy when this is ready. So please, start today becoming a patron, and uh, you will get your free copy. But you also help me to explain to you why life in itself is both an art and a science, and why both are important, and that every person should learn that from the youngest age possible to make sure that they develop a long, healthy, prosperous life that does not end in misery. As a uh, Wudang Taoist, um, I am naturally inclined to be curious about what Wudang Taoism is about. Being part of something means questioning it. So at the moment when you blindly get into something and start doing things, um, that is not really a very healthy attitude. It is not a good healthy attitude in the West, but it certainly also is not a good attitude in the East. Confucianism, as much as modern science, is about asking questions, trying to figure out things. You can say that because of the ethical considerations that Confucianism has, uh, Taoism has them also, especially Wudang Taoism. What I found out is that Wudang Taoism does not exist without Confucianism. My Kung Fu sister, Chen Li Fang, she said, to me, in the second year that we were uh, practicing together, she said, well, if you want to become a uh, Wudang Taoist and you want to understand uh, Wudang Taoism, you really have to study Confucius. If you don't study Confucius, you will never become a good Wudang Taoist. And uh, also Sifu Yao Shen De, my teacher, he said, like, well, you know, to understand Confucius means understanding Tao. <coughs> it didn't mean he didn't want you to understand Lao Tzu and all the other people who are relevant for Taoism also, but he said this is very important. And Kung Fu, uh, Tai Chi Kung Fu, is a means to do so. Of course, Tai Chi Kung Fu is a relatively new development in uh, Taoist history, but it is a means to understand how Tao works in you, and it relates especially to uh, how you manage your health. Your health is of course a very important issue to you, right? It is also an important issue to me. Because if my health is good, I will stay long time fit and uncluttered by all kind of problems uh, throughout my life. And I will be able to do all kind of things up to a very high age. Right now I'm 273 years old and uh, I'm doing pretty okay. Uh, this movie is made in uh, 1800 something um, and um, that brings me to the next part of uh, what I want to say in Wudang Taoism usually the emphasis is being put on that it is a military discipline yeah, because Wu can be military It also means discipline, and uh, Tang means doing service, or service in general. So Wudang in itself means disciplinary service, it doesn't mean military service. Although many Kung Fu schools, they deal with their students as if they are soldiers. And in China itself, definitely, people go to Wudang or they go to Shaolin, uh, Chinese people that is, uh, because doing a study there helps them to get a good job in the army later. That's why you very often you see very young people doing a lot of Kung Fu and you see that Kung Fu is amazing because they're young. I mean, they're older, you very quickly see that they stiffen up and there's less and less that they can do. They might be very good in Kung Fu, in fighting or something like this, but it doesn't mean that they know exactly how to take care of their health. Chang San Fun, in his own uh, words, said that the study of Tai Chi Kung Fu and the study of medicine is the same that means you have to study both to understand either of them. When Sun Lu Tang go to Wudang, 
to study Taoist uh, Kung Fu. He come back and he make a statement. He says like, look, Kung Fu is not only to fight, but Kung Fu is also to take care of your health. The Chinese government has taken that from uh, Sun Lutang and obliged everybody to study according to the pattern that Sun Lutang set out. So when you go to a Wudang school in China right now, basically you learn Sun Lutang things. And although he was in uh, Wudang for a while, he's not necessarily a Wudang, Wudang person. It's not to criticize anybody in Wudang because people do amazing things there. But as a Wudang Taoist, when you want to become a Wudang Taoist, you have to understand that the things that you normally learn in a Kung Fu school are not necessarily the things that you need to become a good, good Wudang uh, Taoist person, or even the forms that you learn, they might not actually be the real stuff. Uh, these are very often stuffs which are being set out to be public stuff. There is a cosmology behind all the Kung Fu uh, to help you develop from the normal towards Tao. And it goes through different layers. And I will pay in another vlog more attention to this uh, layering. And this is part of your general study also in health and uh, in being a person. Then what is a major factor which you have to take in consideration is that both Confucianism and Taoism they consider whatever you learn as both an art and a science at the same time. It is a science because it follows particular kind of uh, rules and principles and it is an art because you need to develop an artistic eye to understand the moral nature of what you're doing. Like for instance when you're doing a Tai Chi move uh, very easy, you do a uh, pum. There are several things that you do at the moment when you press, for instance, uh, you can develop a particular kind of explosive power because of the way how you project force into somebody's body and your flat hand seems to be a mediary, but you can break somebody's ribs with a move like this uh, when uh, doing this unchecked. By understanding the moral implications of this, you also learn to become conservative towards the health of the people that you might be fighting with, but also to your own health. And you will understand that fighting actually is a lower class thing. I don't want to say lower class is not good, but it is for the army, the infantry, the foot soldiers, whom every general is willing to sacrifice on the battlefield. And Tai Chi Kung Fu, Taoist Kung Fu, is not to fight on the battlefield, but to overcome the struggle that causes you to age badly and in emergency to be able to defend yourself or your monastery. To understand why it is both an art and a science, for this you actually really have to practice. So I use this video as an entry also to the different classes that I offer online and which you as a patron also will have access to to be able to understand the relationship between art and science. The thing is the thing is that your body and your mind, your feelings, your behavior, they all follow particular kind of rules, but these rules are not set in stone. These rules, they are set in the relationships you have with people, that you have with life, and there are so many factors that they are impossible to calculate. You have to develop the right kind of eye for that. You have to develop a feeling for it. And that's the ethical nature of Confucianism, is you have to develop a feeling for things, what is right, what is wrong. It is not just about doing particular kind of things to make sure that you do the right thing, as the Book of Rights suggests. That is important when you don't understand things. But once you start understanding things, you start making real, unique choices. And these real, unique choices is what emphasizes you as an individual. And in Taoism, the same. Your real and unique choices, your individuality, 
is about your relationship with nature at large, with the divinities in space. Space, I don't mean the space from the planets, and the, but the cosmological space. Another uh, line that I'm going to set out in the coming uh, time in the vlog, in the Patreon vlog, is that of the topics that I touch upon in the description of uh, Wudang Taoism, how it has been developed, uh, what is the role of particular kind of people, the role of particular kind of divinities and how that works. And when you become a patron, uh, you also get access to that specific part. In exchange for your becoming a patron, you get a free copy when it is ready. So please, start today becoming a patron and uh, you will get your free copy. But you also help me to explain to you why life in itself is both an art and a science. And why both are important and that every person should learn that from the youngest age possible to make sure that they develop a long, healthy, prosperous life that does not end in misery.